Hi guys, it's Amy. So when it comes to scoring, putting is what you need to be good at. So today, I'm going to show you how to grip the putter properly and a couple key points to help you improve your putting. So let's start with the grip. When you look at the putter, uh, putter grip is different than any other clubs in the bag. Obviously it has a flat part on top. So I'm gonna try and utilize this flat part to explain. So when you look at the left hand, there's a lifeline right here. You're gonna put that lifeline in the edge of the left side of this flat part. So it goes like this, lifeline on the edge, and the left thumb goes straight down on the flat part of the grip. And the right lifeline goes on top of the left. Uh, let's pretend there is a edge here on the left thumb. Goes lifeline right there. So the right thumb goes straight down on the grip as well. So it's gonna feel very palmsy. When you lift it up with the irons, you either overlap or interlock like this, right? But we're actually going to lift the left index up like so. And then we're going to cover the right two fingers right here like this. So it's going to feel very palmsy. We're doing this so that you don't use your wrist in the putting. So when you're palmsy, you will use less of the wrist. So it's gonna give it a little bit more consistent impact. So you understand the grip. I'm gonna give you three key points during a stroke. All right, so the first point is the club head. When you go ahead and set up, I'll show you from the side. Your club head is supposed to lay flat on the ground. I see a lot of people grip it like this, so the toe is up in the air. This is not good because a lot of times if the heel might get caught on the way down, or even if you are very good at not catching the ground with the heel, at impacts, there's less probability of hitting the center properly because the toe is up in the air. So, Basically, you see a lot of pros, most of the pros, their clubs are always flat on the ground. And when you do this, you're going to feel the left wrist bow out a little bit. You see that? Whereas with the iron stance, you know how your, um, there's a slight angle in your wrist, in the left wrist. This one, you're going to bow out your left wrist. So when you bow out your left wrist and the club head is flat on the ground, if you watch, the forearm and the shaft makes a straight line. Most of the pros on tour look like this at, in, at, at their uh, putting setup because this straight line is going to actually help you use less of your wrist back and forth, boom. Whereas if you're set up like an iron with an angle in your forearm, the shaft, most likely you may start using your wrist, which is not what we want. So remember, flat on the ground, left wrist bows out, and your forearm and the shaft makes a straight line. Second point is the ball position. So I'm gonna show you from the side again. Um, a lot of times people kind of set up like an iron like this. So the eyes are actually inside of the golf ball, but with putting, you want your left eye directly above the golf ball. Because if you set up like this and your eyes are inside, what happens is when you go ahead and stroke, your club head makes, makes an arc, just like you would do with an iron. So therefore, at impact, impact position, it's harder to square up with a big arc. So I want you to try, I'm sure you've seen this before, but you're going to drop a golf ball from your left eye. You set up, so you're going to kind of have less knee bend, you're gonna bend over more from the hips, and just make sure your eyes are over the golf ball, boom. Okay, so the golf ball is directly under my left eye. Like so, this way you're able to stroke straighter back and forth, boom, straight back and forth. Therefore, you will have more square uh, impact position, which is going to allow you to have less side spin and make more pockets. All right, third point is actually pretty important. You're gonna have to kind of point your elbows inward a little bit so what i mean by that is a lot of times people say okay stick your elbows out and then you're gonna rock back and forth this kind of dangerous because the, uh, your armpits are not pinched so you may wobble around a little bit or sometimes you may end up using your wrist and your shoulder strength to hit pull it back and put hit uh, put through like this 
So you want to make sure you kind of squeeze your elbows in inward like this. So your armpits are pinched. And then, you know, a lot of times they say, okay, pretend like it's a pendulum and you have to use your shoulders to rock back and forth. But I actually would recommend you guys rock back and forth with your abs, with your core. This may be kind of hard to understand, but uh, let's try this together. You'll understand way better after you try this. We're going to have the palms facing forward. You're going to stick the pinky and your palm together like this. So when you get into this position, you will feel the elbows pinching in a little bit and your armpits gonna be pinched in. That's going to give you so much more stability in your stroke and better rhythm. So let's go ahead. I don't want your palms to face away from the front. It's constantly facing forward. So you're going one, two, rock back and forth, back and forth. Then you're gonna feel your abs control the whole rocking. So let's try that with a golf ball. Pretend like your pinkies are touching, so more in the palms and you're gonna pull the elbows in a little bit. So you see that pinched and you're going to use your core for rhythm. One, two. The stroke's gonna be way more calm and more consistent with a very good rhythm. So make sure you remember to grip it in the palms so you don't use your wrists and your club head lies flat on the ground. Ball position is directly under the left eye, so it'll be slightly left of the middle in the stance. And make sure you pinch your elbows in so you don't wobble around and give it a very solid, smooth stroke. Remember those points and you'll be putting like a pro in no time. I hope you're able to follow along. If you like the lesson, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next lesson.